for coming to watch this video today. This is actually my second time recording because I accidentally deleted the footage that I was about to upload. So that's okay. I really want to get this out because I know most of you are waiting to see it. So let's just um, talk about what we will be um, looking at today. I have here my Kate Spade agenda and then I have here my um, on the go organizer. So we'll get into this later. For now, let's just jump right in. So you will see a lot of gold detail in this planner and it's a zip around. I had my friction pen in there, but I took it out because I was filming it earlier. <laughs> so when you first get in, there'll be a small glare here for a second. But when you first jump in, you will see on this side um, a laminated picture. Um, and then you will see post-it notes, which you'll see in the planner later. These are from Target. A Starbucks card and then the key that I use for my bullet journal, um, which I now use in this planner. This pocket just has a couple receipts in it. And this pocket here has some Heidi Swap stickers, which are adorable. A couple Project Life cards and some business cards. This dashboard was actually made from a Mead. Mead is a brand, a stationery brand, and that they usually have at Target and Walmart and things like that. And it was just a folder that I cut down because I like the way that it sparkled. And then this flyleaf is bendable and foldable, which is really cool. And a little paper clip that I was gifted with my Finsbury A5 that I used to have. <laughs> so this is just an information page that I will fill out um, after this video. This is my year tracker. So I have um, the months um, checked off here with the washi tape and then a sticker on the month of October. Uh, the in intro to the Kate Spade inserts. I decided to keep these in. And now we're on to my dividers. These are my dividers here. That one never shows. And these dividers are all folder dividers. So what I mean by that is I folded the scrapbook paper that I was using, um, went to the corner that I was tracing, and then created a folder type divider so that when I put scrapbook paper and washi taped it, I had a pocket. It also makes the divider um, thick so that I'm able to keep it in here without it messing up. The biggest change that I have in my planner right now is that I am using DIY Fish's inserts. Um, many of you have probably heard of these inserts and seen videos on them and I finally decided to try the uh, three month trial. So far I'm loving it. In my A5 I was using Rogue Crusades inserts. She has a Diana page. She has other wonderful inserts as well. I will link her again in the bottom. I recommend her if you're looking for something, I don't want to say simpler, but a little less involved. So let's jump in. Um, I can do a video on DIY Fish's inserts and how I'm using them, but I will go um, very quickly over how I'm using them now and then do a video in depth about them later. I'm not even going to go into the monthly part because I'm not using it. But you will see here um, I spilled some tea. I was upset about that. But these are just um, really quick reminders on a very small month. But it works because these are just quick, nothing too in-depth. And I will show you what I like about this. Many of you may have seen. I will jump to the week I'm at. It comes out here, corresponds with your month. And then your day corresponds with your entire spread. So let's get into this. The way I'm using the day on two pages um, is to track a few things that I wasn't able to track before. So I have here a quote. Um, I always like to start my days or end my nights with quotes. And then I have a hydrate section. I have the bullet journal system. So I have my to-dos, but I'm using the bullet journal system on the side. My schedule is here. I have the 30 days of lists up here at the top. And then I have notes. So that's the biggest change is that I'm using these day on two pages to take notes so that I can refer back to them later on. Um, if I need them and that's been working out well because I'm using this color coding system which I will show you in a second but I basically use every day in this way 
And without getting into too much detail about it, um, it's been working wonderfully. So let's quickly go through these pages. And you will see in here days that I actually didn't use it because there wasn't much going on or I had to sleep early that night. So I just didn't use them. This is this current week. So my week pulls out this way, which is easy to see, easy to remember. And this scrapbook idea of scrapbooking pages that you haven't are not using came from Erin Joy's video. Um, so go ahead and look her up. She's wonderful. And these are what I would like to call ultimate to-do lists. So I have a tab for to-do, and it's basically a week um, to-do list, but I call it the ultimate to-do list. And I pull my daily to-dos from this list. So this is my new list. Um, technically, it's not really new because it's going to be Friday tomorrow, but um, these are things I actually have to get done by the end of the week, mostly. Um, some of this stuff is monthly things, so... That's what I'm using that for. Now let's turn over to this part of the uh, system. I always have a page in my planner somewhere where I will track next month's um, important dates because I don't plan my months ahead. So this is May's and I just have important dates there that I can write into my May calendar when I do create my calendar. This here is a 21 day challenge that I have and I want to let you know if you didn't know already these project life cards are wonderful for slitting and then putting in. They're thick enough for that in case you were wondering. If you um, are also wondering about what this is, it takes 21 days to create a habit so I'm trying to eat clean and exercise for 21 days and so far eating clean has been the only thing I have been doing but better than nothing. Um, this weekly chart, it tracks anything you want. I don't color code it. Um, I just track Instagram things, caffeine intake, uh, YouTube uh, when I post and then comments when I reply and then studying and exercise. So that's what I'm tracking there and it may get more involved in the future. Then I have these two blank pages and my days begin again. This is uh, tomorrow's and um, I have just here a card and this is a project life divider that I cut down. It comes in easily and um, other than that, the color coding system is as follows. This is just on a fly leaf, it comes out easily. I just color code certain things such as YouTube, um, wedding stuff, appointments and notes and then when I turn to a day, they match up so that I know what that note pertains to um, for that day. Okay, this note tab right here in section is going to be for um, storing the notes that are very important. For example, going to the doctors and getting information. Uh, if I need to store that information, I will put it in the note section so that I can have it for as long as I need it for. Um, this next section is my quote, well, my list section, sorry, but this is my quote section. I have a video on quote inspiration, if you would like to check that out. So I will quickly flip through these now. You've probably seen them a billion of times if you've, billions of times if you follow me, so. Um, I like the Red Sox, so I have their standings here, and then their schedule, their roster, famous quotes, and then I have been using journaling cards to um, just note things down, jot things down, and they've been working great. I did have to cut them down the side. Wish lists, books and movies to read and watch, a couple things that I just find inspiring, goals, favorites, more quotes here. and then extra um, note cards. If you're interested, this is from a scrapbook, um, one of those big scrapbook things that I cut down because it came with um, it came with these little note cards. This next section here, or this next tab, because you can see I have tabs right here, um, YouTube, Instagram, 30 days, and then budget. These are just ideas that you all give me or that I think of uploads, Instagram, and then when I do them, I cross them down, uh, cross them out. 
this list is for like house necessities and future planning. Important dates for the year. And really quick, 30 days of lists. Um, I've got a couple questions. What I do is I go on Instagram and then I hashtag 30 days of lists. And there's some amazing people on there that do it. And so I get their prompts and I write them down and choose randomly. Extra note paper. In case you're wondering, this is just regular graph paper cut down from a notebook. These are the note pages that came with the Kate Spade. Then I have the to-do section that came with the Kate Spade. And it um, is home to these to-do pages that I never use, so I may take them out. This next section is my budget and then actually health and fitness section. So here I just have a couple business cards I need to keep safe. An expense tracker on a, on a yeah, journaling card. And then this is the Kate, these are the Kate Spade inserts. And so what I do is I use the month at a glance to, as of right now, track my exercise. And I was really on point at the beginning of the month and fell off. I also track when my credit card or phone bill is due as another way to remind myself. And I may do more with it, I just don't know right now. What I have been using the week on two pages for is to um, track my food. So it's a food journal, food log, and I don't decorate it a lot really at all. I just write down what I eat and then I just write down how I felt that week. But in the case that I do begin exercising more, which I plan to do, I have this little idea where um, it says exercise and eat clean persistence is key on a project life card. These are flags that indicate the duration or the amount of time that I exercise. So here are the flags. And if I were to have exercised, um, it would have looked like this. So if I did it for 30 minutes, I would have put what I did. So I put treadmill and Nike training. And that would have told me just how much I've been exercising all um, week at a glance. Okay, some extra ones here all the way to June. This is my... Um, wedding planner section and I don't actually have a pocket for this one and what I have here is a couple of um, journaling cards with a list on them okay different lists and then extra note paper this last section back here is actually for nothing in particular it just holds my um Sorry, my notepads, they're actually post-it notepads that I was gifted. And then a really thick folder that has post-its and uh, do jobs. And it actually lifts my pages a little bit, not too much. This last part here has the Kate Spade tag, some on-the-go washi, save the date, um, some wedding brochures, and then the month at a glance Kate Spade um, drawings. Okay, so overall, um, I really wanted to wait to do this so that you can see just how I'm using it and, and how effective it really is for me. Um, I hope you got some inspiration out of this part of it. And if you have any questions about anything, um, just let me know. Some of you wanted to know what I do with my um, inserts um, when I'm done with them. And like most people, if I don't need them, they really just go thrown away. But um, since I'm using them in this way, I will probably use them for future reference and keep them. Okay. This is going to be really quick because I actually don't carry a lot of decoration on the go anymore since um, I don't decorate as often or I'll decorate at home. So quickly here I have hole puncher and scissors. Getting inside, I carry extra post-its right here on the sides paper clips I have a couple of these stickers in here from Target and this is all from Target except for these um, these were from Joann's then I have the page flags that I use some more paper clip page flags um, masking sticker sets and then um, this has a pen holder so it's a sharpie pen in here and this top part is journaling cards, large ones. If you're interested in this here, I might get some questions. I got it from Amazon, just Google, I mean, search pink um, 
passport case or passport holder, mostly case, and you will find it. Um, I suggest the larger one though, if you're going for one, because this is quite small, as you can see compared to the personal size. Okay guys, so that was the setup and then the look through of my um, on the go organizer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or any questions and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.